Hi everybody, I'm Brandon and this is Randall and today we're going to talk to you a little bit about how to use the AWS CLI, which is the command line interface for AWS. So what exactly is a command line interface? Yeah, so a command line interface allows you to interact with the system from a terminal or a shell instead of using a visual interface like you would accessing AWS console with your web browser. So that gives you some advantages, right? Yeah. One of my favorite things about the AWS CLI is that it's actually programmatically created and determined, so whenever the AWS APIs update, the CLI is already available and updated for you. So what happens is the AWS CLI is an interface on top of a Python framework called Bodo that goes out and pulls in all of these JSON files that define how the APIs for AWS work. And this allows you to create really, really powerful programmatic constructs when you're interacting with AWS. So uh, when, it, when it comes to installing the, the AWS CLI, you have a couple of dependencies, and one of those is Python. One of the things that I do on OS X or, or, or Mac is I just do brew install AWS CLI, uh, and that normally pulls in everything for me and gets it working, and that uses a package manager called Homebrew. But one of the other ways of installing it would just be to say pip install AWS CLI, and that should just get everything running. Mm -hmm. And if you run into any issues, don't worry, we have a helpful little web page that'll tell you all the different kind of troubleshooting tips if you have any dependency issues. Yeah, you can get started uh, with the CLI, learn how to install it, how to get it configured, and how to start using it at aws.amazon.com slash CLI. Um, and yeah, one of, the, one of the things that I think is really a big advantage of using the CLI is that you get repeatability, right? Instead of having to know a certain sequence of clicks and where to find things in the web interface to spin up a new server, you can script it out and use the CLI to do that. Right. So one of the really cool features is actually the ability to go in and write queries after you've you know, done all your filtering on the server side to even further filter down your results. So I have uh, one of my favorite services is AWS Poly. And so you can say something like AWS Poly uh, describe voices. And that'll give you all the different voices that are available. And then you can say you know, output text. And that will give you all the different text, uh, all of the different voices that are available in the languages and stuff like that. But what's really cool is you can write a little James Path query to go and give you just the names of those voices. So that's all of those names of those voices in JSON. So all in all, I think the tool is pretty full featured and it lets you build out whatever kind of programmatic constructs you want on top of regular bash scripts. Cool. It's definitely very powerful. And uh, one way you might want to consider using this is if you're manually spinning up EC2 instances, you can put some of these commands into your user data scripts so that they run automatically when those instances come up, which is useful for syncing files between uh, servers using S3 and things like that. So again, uh, thank you for joining us to learn how to get started with AWS CLI. Go to aws.amazon.com slash CLI to learn more. Thanks.